When you think of the characters of Hell's Kitchen, you of course think of Ramsay, the sous chefs, and all the iconic chefs that come from the show throughout the years. However, there's one person who is arguably one of the most popular and beloved figures in the show's history despite being on less than half the total seasons and being a side character, with that being Major D. John Philippe. What's going on guys? I'm Flint Masters, and today, we'll be looking at the best moments from everyone's favorite Major D. Be sure to subscribe and like for more fun HK content like this, and with that, let's take a look back at JP being an absolute icon. Bloody hell, here I go again. The world didn't know much about this Belgian man with extremely slick hair back in season 1, as it felt like he was literally just there as a prop to show giving people their food. But as we know, JP had to deal with a lot of BS from the customers in the first season who didn't realize how difficult HK was at the time, with the most infamous being the doctor guy, absolutely going off on JP, to which JP clapped back, instantly becoming an HK icon in the process. I have a doctorate in music from the University of Southern California. Yes. Do you have a doctorate? I do have an education. Do you have a doctorate? I do have an education. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you can't. What? So, so don't no. tell me I can't. No, I'm sorry, Steve. Look, I want some you, food, man. You, 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 you can't. By, 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 by law, by law. I, I wish your education could be as good as your, as your voice. Huh? Yeah. Oh! oh! In seasons 3 through 5, Hell's Kitchen hosted certain events that required a planner of some sort, with the planner's name being Francisco. However, Francisco wasn't exactly the most serious person at times, and JP, who we know takes his job very seriously, wasn't having any of this, leading to some hilarious altercations between the two throughout the years, with JP even setting him up to get an earful from Ramsey at one point. Seriously, I think HK brought Francisco back each year to intentionally piss off JP. And the guests are enjoying the party. That's so good. They aren't the only ones. You should try this. Did you have one? Well, she gave me one. Now you're starting to eat with them. This is ridiculous. It's all about glee and sparkling and happiness. If it happens one more time, there will be no Francisco anymore at this party. I swear I'll be good. Just, I'm gonna have one more piece. But I don't want him to see it. Ooh, I dropped the banana. So, um, bonjour, darling. Oh, here he is now. Hello, it's so good to see you. I'm so thrilled to be back. Are you thrilled to see me? You, listen. Yeah. You are not interfering with my job. I'm a little rusty. And Max isn't the only one who's distracted. JP. I was just taking a few shots. No, wait, yes, but the kids, the kids, the balls are here for the kids. Okay, okay, yes? okay. okay. JP. Oh. Stupid you. You turned around you so You called funny. me, I turned around, no? Let's not make a scene. That's it, man. I, I just had enough of you. Okay, it's okay. it's okay. I'm so sorry. Stop touching me. This is ridiculous. Okay. I saw JP just give him an ass whipping. Tinkerbell, he probably enjoyed that. Are they a higher priority table or how? No, you tell, you tell Gordon. Gordon. Gordon? Yeah, feel free. Okay, I don't need a wedding planner during my service. Gordon. Service, please. Can you get out the way? I'm trying to serve food. Can I'm you get out of the way? Stand out of the way. Okay, I think that went well. So you had a chat with the chef? I did. So he's going to speed it up? He said he's going to. Yeah. But while we all love JP's snarky and feisty moments, let's not forget that he is a people pleaser for a living, and over the years, has even kept the dream alive of so many contestants who have thought about quitting. Salvatore and Andrew specifically were literally about to walk out right then and there, but were able to survive that night and make it further in general due to the pep talk from JP. Heck, who knows how far Andrew would have gone had he not been a total lunatic. Again, while JP's wit is what makes him an icon, it is cool to see him being such a heartfelt person as well. Yes. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Salvatore, do me a favor. Don't, don't do that. Salvatore, fight back, young man. Fight back, man. Hey, listen, I know the man for 16 years. Don't take it personal. I mean, he names me so many different ways. Yeah? It goes in, it goes out. I'm happy that John Philippe encouraged me to at least don't give him up on my team. Just I'm smile on your face. Smile on your face. Andrea, just relax. The only thing he wants from you is to come back. You need to fight back. I just haven't recovered. Do you want to stay? Yes, I want to stay. I've been through too much hell right now to leave. Absolutely. So give it to Gordon. So now you need to be strong. Go back in there and give it your best shot. Go on, then. What's going? Two chicken, two lamb, one Wellington, one Dory. Thank you. Back in the kitchen. Now wake up, Andrea. Yes, chef! Every once in a while, the contestants are assigned to work as a waiter as well, and you can tell this drives JP literally insane to see people do such a poor job at something he's a pro at, leading to many funny interactions. Which table are you doing now? Right here. Yeah, and you're serving red now. Yeah? You're serving red now. Yes? yes so I should apologize to the ladies, number one. I apologize, yeah. ladies. I'm sorry, ladies. 
24 is here. This is 23. Tortellini and a soup, Madame Monsieur? Uh, two tortellini. Two tortellinis. Okay, we have a problem there. Can you go and see Gordon with your tray? I need one more tortellini. Uh, what do you mean, one more tortellini? I delivered it to the wrong table the last one. What yeah. is going on? Jimmy, stop touching yourself. Just you my just head. stop you. Don't yeah, touch your head. Stop, 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 stop touching head. yourself. I'm sorry. Please. All right, I'm sorry. Come on. John Philippe is looking for Lacey. Table 23. 20 the th table which you forgot. I have to go up there and tell him to fire it. Who else gonna do it? John Philippe, I've never waited tables before. Blah, 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 blah. Can you just go and ask the chef to go? Blah, 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 blah. Given that accent and fancy look, it's easy to see why women would go crazy over JP, and he isn't afraid to use his good looks when need be. In season four, a 12 top full of bikini models would come in, and knowing the kitchen was already behind, JP used that charm to stop her time, and in general, keep the models happy. Man, what a life. Good evening. Special occasion? Is it the birthday of somebody? Ladies night out. Ladies night out. Ladies night out. Are you, you work together? Like, yeah. 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 So what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'll do everything. <laughs> I'm from Belgium. Yeah. Oh, okay. right. and welcome. It's <laughs> well, you know we're all Hawaiian shopping models. So we could go to the beach tomorrow. Okay. While John Philippe enjoys his time with the ladies. But without question, the most famous JP interaction is with Van, as the two's unlikely battle still lives on as one of the most iconic moments in the show's history. Van, being a muscle-bound meathead, definitely did not fit the waiter stereotype, and safe to say, the low expectations end up being true, going to numerous wrong tables, and acting like a chef instead of a waiter out in the dining room. And thus, JP of all people shocked the world, going off on Van. Listen, listen to me. I'm listening. Even look at what I'm me. working. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna give you some... I'm in action here. What is going on? So I'm tired of Don't Calm down. But keep it cool in front of these customers, and you keep it cool. Is that clear? Table 24. Okay, yes, can, yes. Let's go. Can you just listen to me? No! What's the matter between you two? There's a language barrier there. What do you mean there's a language barrier? He's speaking English, you I know this is from Texas. Don't run in the restaurant, please. John Philippe. You better stop trying to tell me what to do, I know that. I'm going to explode, my friend. Listen to me! Whoa, whoa! Listen! Listen! Listen to me! We have a problem here. Hit him! Don't touch me, bro! You better get out of my face, Hey, 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 hey! Hey, both of you, come here. He's both, both of you, come here. Now! I'm gonna you up, bro. He's not respecting this dining room, chef. Bitch, shut up. You do your job, and you do your job, we'll come together. Are you gonna do it? Yes, I will, if you listen. Are you gonna do it? Yes, chef. Last chance. Ladies first. So before we call it a video, I figured I'd end off with just some fun general moments from JP throughout the years, as it really is kind of amazing how much of a smile he puts on your face every time he's on screen. Hi, uh, Ralph. Hey, Jean-Pierre, how are you? If you call me one more time, Jean-Pierre, I'm gonna kill. Whatever is gonna come to me tonight, I'm gonna give it to Michael and Ralph. I'm just a neutral person. He is the Belgian ninja. <laughs> He was just tossing him around like it was yesterday's salad. Big old Chef Ramsay against little old Jean Philippe. Surrender! <laughs> Chef Ramsay kicked his ass. I won! Oh my god. So there you have it, guys. The best moments from Jean Philippe in Hell's Kitchen. Let me know what moment was your favorite, and be sure to subscribe and like for more fun HK content like this. With all that said, take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Get out of there. <laughs>